this has been a very long time in the making. So, let's... Okay, let's adjust the speed real quick, because I don't know how long and loud it comes through the game. I initially tried to play this damn game when I started the Batman playthrough, because that was a backup, because this one wasn't playing nice with OBS. I found out how to make it play nice with OBS, so there's that. Finally. Also, I've never played the first Max Payne. I played two on Xbox. OG Xbox. But now, I'm gonna get started. Oh, and the slight fuckery I had to do to get this game working. Uh, can you tell it's New York in the winter? Stand by, 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 for dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Man, look at this high after 2001. Oh, it's just here in a sec. The they were thing all is, is... dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. That face. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> so when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. Still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. God, I love the writing of the first Max Payne. So damn good. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house. Front row center. Let's try and equal that out. Hopefully that should take care of things. Look at all this simple interactive stuff. What the hell? Oh, Max. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to. Good. I'm afraid I cannot. Who is this? Hello. Well, this is a wonderful start to a bad day. Intentionally calling them graphic novels. God, I love this. Michelle! Okay, starting off strong. No, 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 please, God, 
no. Starting off grim, actually. Oh, God. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. <sighs> This is actually pretty good early 2000s voice acting. God, remember in just a, what? This game came out in 2001. When did the first Resident Evil come out? How many years before this was that game? No! Well, and then there was that. <laughs> that was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. Killer junkies have been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr. V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Yeah. The monologuing's fucking good, but... I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and Bibi were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. Bibi here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. <laughs> Outside, the mercury it. was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat. The train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. <laughs> that is one thing I always really found funny, is just... They have the writer's face as a photo source texture for Sam's face. And he's got this fucking smile, but Max is this... The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Grim, depressed, monologuing, undercover detective. Oh hey, shotgun shells. That's cool. And bad. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Well, I guess it's... slightly less bad that that, that ain't him. Still bad, though. I will say, it's... Pills would hold the pain back for a while. Yep. It's kind of nice just opening something and not having a damn interaction menu pop up. Oh god, I sound like a boomer. Hey, remember when old games did this? Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much fun taking care of the cop up there. Oh, well, what's the plan? Hey, uh... And that's why I love this game, and it's gonna be a lot of that tonight. Oh, hey, a deagle. Two deagles. Eh, I'll use the thing I actually have ammo for. Yeah. What the hell? Ah. Ah. No no, hey. Whoop. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna bump the game of volume up. Oh, hang on. How am I sounding right now compared to the game? Is everything sounding good? Because I was futzing with it a second ago. Uh, I hear coughing. Sounds like I gotta solve a problem. What the? Oh! That's a shotgun! Put that down, put it down, put it down! Thank you. Anything here? The security panel led on a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. Hmm. Well, I know where I'm going. Oh, hey. Oh! 
Oh, Jesus Christ, he's loaded your... Just shot his buddy. What a dick. Anyone else? No? Okay, cool. Oh, there we go. Goodbye, now. Who the hell? Oh. Nice and easy. Hey, you good? You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Hang on, was his voice line synced? Wait, was, was Max's voice line synced to him? Also, they give me a fucking escort quest. This better last about five seconds. Hmm. Okay, good. We know what the quick save button is, and we're gonna need that if this is anything like Max Bane 2. Home free. This way. Hey. Look out! Okay, quest completed. Well done. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, that's here. I thought those were painkillers. Did he just pop a cop and then run off? It's popped a few of them. No, no, come back around. Come on, I'll wait for you. Come on, give me an angle, give me an angle, give me an angle, give me an angle. Oh, boy, I am fucking dead. <laughs> oh, how predictive. Come on, buddy. Let's have a recap. Maybe I can kill the guy with the shotgun before he runs off. This way. What the nope, he runs off in cutscene. You know what? I should have some shotgun ammo. Let's find out. Right here. What the hell, did you pop their buddy in the back? God damn. These thugs suck. Wow, you You guys are kind of just handing this place its ass. For no good reason. Why? Nothing here. More dead people. Well, that's a good start. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. Well, glad we got that settled. Can I get some more painkillers, please? These are just cans of beer or something. Okay, nifty. I'll just, you know, follow along with my gut full of lead. Really? Marco! You got any friends? Any new friends? Okay. Head on back down. Man, I am... This is really lacking in music compared to Max Payne 2. I kind of missed the music. Well, that's fucking grim. Check. Nada. Thank you! Riding high on the wings of Vicodin. Such is life. Alright, well maybe let's put the deagle to use. Getting Roscoe Bank ain't exactly keeping low foot for hey. Oh. 
I don't know if it's my favorite deagle I've ever used, but it's working. The gate was locked. I would have to find another way to get through the tunnel. Okay, well. Shooting the explosive canisters didn't seem to work. I think that's the first time I've ever had to say that. For the shotgun to use. Maybe. Hmm. Under construction and I have a train. You know, for a DEA, this is pretty fucking reckless if Max is gonna do what I think he's about to do. Max, this is pretty fucking reckless. And he's doing it with a grin on his face. Damn, that took the whole gate off. So much for being subtle. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, so I do not have the option to run and crouch. But I will fight through this whole subway like this and you aren't gonna stop me! There we are. Man, you guys do not have a lot in the way of ammunition. That's much louder. Okay, leave it at that, that's... The actual middle seems to be the good middle ground. Live from the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, we're getting The rusty that. door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was gonna find out. Damn, they closed this part of the subway off? This part actually looks interesting. And eerie. Why are the halls howling? Well, this shotgun's a lot better than the shotguns in Max Payne 2, I'll say that. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Whoop! We're playing shotgun tag? Because I play for keeps. I win. Oh, great, a sewer. Man, I hope Civi isn't here right now. Running and gunning, getting all the fun. Yeah, I kind of miss when games that let you dual wield more and more often. Can we wait till I'm outside of the underground before we blow it up? Why the hell do these halls sound like they're haunted? I get they're from the 40s, but holy shit. You friggin' eat! You tell me you didn't bring the detonator? You dumb friggin' mook! I'll take that. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Now I got two barrels of fun. What the? Yeah, the place is on airline. Oh, we're getting electronic. Down you go. 
You're wearing a leather vest, not a chest, Rick. Stop taking so many shots. Oh, that stays fun. Okay, who's camping with a shotgun? Oh, that's a deagle. <laughs> okay, now there is actually some in-game music. I'm gonna roll this off and I'm avoiding a comparison. There we go, that's a bit more manageable. Thank you. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking, and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. <laughs> Mental note, never be an undercover cop. The bank robber score lay on the table. Oh yeah, what do we got? The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Acer Corporations. It's the corporations, man! The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Sounds like it's a detonator. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. <laughs> well, that'd be funny, but let's not. That's our way out. All right, I've got two barrels of fun, and I'm coming up. Oh, hey, you guys are still dead. Good. I like them to stay that way. Boo! Oh, this is a crapshoot. Oh, shit! Please don't send more grenades my way. Okay, so you do need to reload. Okay, that was slightly terrifying. Okay, jeez. What dumbass brings a grenade to an enclosed hallway with Tri Nitro? What the? Fuck it, I'm running downstairs. I say as I send a door flying at Mach 3. Oh, and I was hoping I'd smash someone. Hold it! Max! Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack! I nearly shot you! Alex, I'm right glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue! It's an armed robbery. I will jump straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station. Oh no, who's this guy? This is Lapino's doing? Lapino's men? Really? You sure know how to take a place? Can you through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. Hey, he ain't holding that right. Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Oh. Okay, this is a bad start going off to an even worse start. Fucking Mondays. Now then. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I'm allergic to- Oh, Jesus! You guys are killing each other more than I am! You idiots. Yeah, you're allergic to lead, too. Dumbass. That and that. Yeah, these things go through ammo quick. Exit gate control. Yes, please. Let me guess, these are pictures of developers. Um, it wasn't me. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Yeah. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. Are we just gonna leave a crime scene and say the nothing? The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the With sirens. There was a DEA a guy dead at the scene? Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All you've gotten was my attention. <laughs> well, I guess we got a plan. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. Lovely the Finito people. brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Paint at a max. You're killing me. God. Do you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs and come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends. No. Oh, well. I was gonna get a screenshot of that, because just Max's face here in this left-hand panel. <laughs> I just can't. Don't answer that. Okay, A good, rhetorical good. question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap nice. hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Hit. Jesus. You know, for a bunch of idiots, you two are pretty spongy. All right, I got a problem solver. Problem solved. A letter on the desk caught my eye. I'd met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnetti. Oh, God, no, Gagnetti no, no. was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. <laughs> he had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. Dude. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see it through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up, or you finito, finitos. Oh, they named that on purpose. Added security, locked doors, lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Soza, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Well, I guess we know we're heading first. Yeah, it's all good. Come on in. Come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. It's tight. How many shotgun shells can one mobster take? Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. 
<sighs> we are running out of Vicodin. And there's a locked door. I have a shotgun. There shouldn't be a locked door. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Oh, well, hey, at least you guys got a washer and dryer. Or maybe just a washer. Wait, is this one of those beds that vibrate? <laughs> ah, that's stupid. Oh, wow. Doesn't this place seem like fun? That is some cheap glass. But, hey, I guess I'm going this way. Back out into the cold. When the hell did mobsters get bullet resistant? That's what I'm wondering. Clearly they just don't build mobsters like they used to. Alright, I'll take that. Morbid thought. Do you think the prostitutes are used to the sound of gunshots? That sounded pretty hefty for a bag of chips. Third floor. What the, <laughs> what the No words. I got I got nothing. on the desk caught my eye. Oh, I've already read it. Everything all right? No. So what if these idiots' names actually Joey Finito? Okay, so the Deagle stun locks, duly noted. Let me see. <laughs> the darts actually show up. Nice. Okay. I'll borrow those. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, a lead pipe in a Max Payne game? No, thank you. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Okay, saving. And I'll borrow that. Okay. Remember, Roy, two barrels of fun. Yo! There we go. You do it fucking well right. God, see, I'm not crazy about using the shotgun, but at the same time, where's all the ammo? Not enough pistol ammo. Seriously, what, was there a shortage of 9 mil ammo and no one told me? Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady no. Amelia, Marky Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lord. Down you go. Probably should have knocked first. V head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. He'll be fine. Kind of game where you save every five steps. It's it kind of keeps you on your toes. Oh god, it's spreading. The monologuing spreading.
Wow. No privacy here. Oh no! A locked door! Nice and clean. Oop. Hey, we're four for four. How about that? Greta ammo full? I know what I'm doing. Wow. That's a strong TV. Jesus, guys. A little fucked up, don't this you think? This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I'd missed the show. Yeah. No shit. God, see, it's kind of like a slide in this game, whereas Max Payne 2, it's more of a flying leap. Excuse me, buddy. I'm not gonna hit you across the back of the head with a metal pipe like I did your buddy. Ow! No, no, don't everyone show up all at once. Nope, 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 shit! Woo. That was almost nasty. Oh, can you feel the blood pumping? Probably would if it wasn't freezing outside. Hmm. I'd found Muerte's room. Yeah, give me one second. What the hell? Who brings a shotgun with them to the bathroom? Left well enough alone. Wow, he brought a shotgun and a nudie mag. Talk about blowing your load. What the hell's over here? Oh, I got a Molotov. Nice. I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. Well. Buffy. Huh. Now what could this be a reference to? Oh, hey! More fun. Alright. They rigged a fucking shotgun to the door and I walked right into it. Okay, that's rookie shit. Where did received a letter? Why is there a baseline? Alright. What's your diary saying, Where did Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. I guess we were going to the letter next. in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. <laughs> One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Nothing good in here. Yeah, goddamn. SOB was waiting for me. Should've known. Good? Okay. So 
so if not that way, where the hell do we go now? Yeah, I got enough rats for both of you, and then some. Now then. Well. That looks... Not the no, result I was expecting. The Russian? Who's the Russian? Who's this Russian you're talking about, eh? Hey, I'm curious to know the deep lore around here. Oh, hi. So, uh, which one of you guys can tell me about this here Russian that you're talking about, eh? Pretty sure this New York accent's gonna piss someone off. I should probably stop before I get an unfortunate visit. These are some sturdy New Yorkers. No shotgun? Okay, good. The hooker had left her diary on the table. <laughs> no. The fuck? Oh, oh, you fucking sleaze bags. Thanks for the bullets, though. Man, this is that kind of sleazy. The kind of sleazy where I'm pretty sure I need to wash the bottom of my shoes. What the hell? Tim, go get him. No, wait, you go get him. You go and get him. Come on, boys. Come and get me. Huh? I think that worked pretty well. Boy, Dizzy! Hey, how you doing? I'd say I'm happy to have you here, but this place is kind of sleazy. And dead. But how's it going, Diz? The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. Oh boy. There's rats on the elevator. <laughs> it was freaking crazy. The cops were doing a full scale siege next door. More traffic than right there. I think that's pretty effective. I'm doing pretty good. Finally getting around to playing a game I've wanted to play for years, but I couldn't exactly stream it. Oh yeah, I saw I wanted to join with Havana's chat and some with some friends. I found some friends who just listen to a lot of the same music I do, and I don't always get that. So we were just going on for like shit. A few hours, maybe like You guys good in there? I don't think they're good in there. But yeah, we're going on for a few hours. I would have liked to have joined, because I've never actually played Among Us. Yeah, don't ask how. I just I just haven't. Yeah, I don't think these guys are good. What the hell? Whoa, 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 wait! Okay, that was slightly awkward. God, you ever have that thing where you're staring at a guy with a shotgun, but you didn't have your shotgun? Oh, this is a great sign. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. 
but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bad Boy comic strip. That's like getting your inspiration for murder from a comic strip like Garfield. Take vampire movies. Why are they always set in LA or Mexico? They can't even get a tan. If I was a bloodsuck, I'd move to the North Pole. Went this one. Got that. <laughs> All right, take two. Take three, four. There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just, <laughs> that is always the fun thing. It's just like seeing an Among Us collab and seeing how many things just go back ass words is always just tons of fun. Where the hell are the pills I picked up? Okay, fine, look at the TV. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Huh. Nice. I guess it works well. Okay, now let's do this without getting fucked up, I say, as I'm well over half health. Do you think I got him? Hang on, now that I'm thinking about this, Diz, have you seen that fucking video of Optimus Prime asking if you played the hit game Among Us? <laughs> you give him a whole new movie and a Fortnite cameo, and all of a sudden Optimus Prime becomes a meme king, and I have no complaints. No! Exhibit number one, a newspaper. Nope, I already did that. Okay. Trying this again and not dying. Okay, that's two. There should be one more. There you are. And sit down. See, I don't die when I know what I'm going into. Yeah, the... Should we call them copy pa I, I feel like copy pasta isn't an appropriate name for them, but the voice lines we're getting of people just memeing on stuff. Love a lot of them. Okay, back to Sleaze Town. Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers at Green Eyed Angels. Amen. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but, uh, you could use some heat. Nope. There we go. Now, did I just mercilessly burn two- a few mobsters to death? A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Wow. Classy. Hey, sorry for murdering you guys. Do you have Vicodin somewhere? There's a key on the table. Jesus Christ, that thing's massive. It was dirty money. That's like an old English house key. Oh, hey, more Molotovs. Could always use more of those. This game is goofy. It... <laughs> it has its moments. It... God, it came out in 2001, so I can't entirely say it's at fault, but it is that, like, 
very heavy, like, film noir, depressive kind of crime thing in a city where it's always snowing or raining. Sunshine is never an option. But, you know, at the same time, it's got that early 2000 idea of New York, where they think everyone on the East Coast is talking like this. You know what I mean. Thank you. All right. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the fuck? But fu no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, kid, I was so depressed, Jesus I struggled Christ. to smoke with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, Jesus mm. Christ, I'm killing this dude. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. And I've got two of them. Oh, pull your pants up, dude. Jesus Christ, you're getting shot at. God, where is the decency in this city? Yeah, keep rounding this corner, it'll keep happening. Do you see how many rounds that dude just took to the sternum and was still standing? Man, are we gonna have an issue? We're gonna have an issue. And hey, I'm almost dead again. What a frickin' constant. Well, seeing as I'm basically on death's door, let me save. No, 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 no! Oh, dude, get, get your fucking pants up! God damn. Yeah, blasted him with a shotgun and stood up. Yeah. I've never known New Yorkers to be bullet resistant. Granted, I'm from California and I don't know many New Yorkers. And there I go. Alright, if I know he's on the other side of this wall, I'm just gonna do this right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a great start. Uh, okay, sir, excuse me. What? I don't think I got him. Okay, I killed him once. Can I do it again? Can I do it again? Yes, as a matter of fact, I can. Saving. <laughs> now it's just one after another. Uh. Oh boy. What I'd give for a rifle of some kind. I'm starting to wonder if I'm in a rock in a hard place. Hmm. Yeah, he was, uh... He was getting service from the lady behind the counter. 
like I said, this place is sleazy. Okay, so I am literally a bullet away from death. Okay, so that's not a terrible strategy, you just gotta get the timing right. And then it's just selecting back to the weapon. Uh... You didn't die from that one?! Oh, you son of a bitch! Okay, fuck it. Lure him back, lure him back, lure him back. There we go. Okay. Dude didn't even pull his pants up after getting shot at. He's either really confident or really stupid. How did he... Well, I guess he didn't run very far. Oh, thank God, pills. I'm glad the antique switchboard was still in use. There was oh, an old yeah. telephone switchboard this. in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Never go to New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss. released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. And at low health. Okay, seeing as how I have actually gotten some health, I'll actually save, and hopefully I won't have to redo that anytime soon. Oh, how am I going to approach this angle? Staircase, I'll take it. First floor, club. Well, that tells me all I need to know. That I don't belong there. <coughs> hey, you want to see something cool? You took two headshots. What the? Heck? Uh, someone better not be sneaking up behind me. Oh, it's a slot machine. Let's see if I'm lucky. Aw. Lame. Well, nowhere else to go but down. And the music kicked off. Okay, nifty. And one of you's corner camping a fucking door. Yeah, I got a present for ya. Yeah, bullet-resistant mobster, you are not. Oh, hey, now the door's open. Awesome. Unlock the door. 
That's noisy as hell. <laughs> Let the gun do the talking. Hey, I'm commentating here. I'm doing my job. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. <laughs> Don't they always? I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. <laughs> the ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. The license plate literally says vodka. Are you kidding me? That's even better. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be taken inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Well, let's go say hi. Oh wow, this skybox texture. The headlines were a depressing read. Oh yeah, take a look. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Yeah, Max. What did you do? Who did you piss off? Not exactly making this fun for each other, you know? Oh, hey, look! I am entirely dead! Oh, God damn, this is kicking my ass. Oh, is it really smart to be overriding the save where I have no health? Probably not. Anything in the lockers? Well, had to hope. Yeah, I'll leave those guys alone. The whole building was rigged well. with explosives. I guess they're not going to be okay anymore. Okay, so I'm not going that way. These explosive tanks aren't very explosive. Hmm. Oh. Now I'm drawing a blank, because I'm not getting through that fire. Yeah, I'm not getting through that fire. Well, you can actually see the part of the wall that's supposed to fall off. Shh. Big 
the question. Okay, so that falls down. The whole building was rigged with explosives. And the obvious hallway door doesn't work. What the hell am I missing? That's got a textured on lock. Oh, now it works. Yo. So please tell me I got someone with that door. Oh, he's having a bad trip. I'm going to leave him be. Okay, yeah. Save game on heal. Not a bad plan. Howdy! Put enough rounds down range, keep them sticking their head up. You know I'm not actually there yet, right? Oh boy. A beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. Oh boy. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of the manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Oh, and that's the plan. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Oh, I took a shotgun to the sternum. For the record, the bombs are not my fault. Oh, hey, more shotguns. Someone had left a letter on the counter. There was a key on the shelf. I'll take it. And I'll take a look at this. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. Oh, After Gogniti. I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, if you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. Drop it. Oh shit! Um, let's not fuck with the SWAT team. The mobsters are enough fun. Oh, that was almost a little nasty. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. Assholes are dropping grenades after me. They are literally just dropping grenades. The building's already got bombs in it, you idiots! Why would you throw around more explosives? What's better than one machine gun? Two machine guns. Nothing. Give me something. Yep. Oh. The bomb 
ones that destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. He can climb. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Hmm. It's never been this cold. I guess we climb down. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world. Yeah, man. To be fair, they are wearing t-shirts. I probably shouldn't give them too much shit. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. So I've actually watched a, a little retrospective series of videos on the uh, Michael Bay Transformers movies. And I don't remember... I don't remember which one it was from, but the one with the... Uh, oh, the one conspiracy theorist hey. guy. He just goes up to the door. Das Vidanya, that means goodbye. <laughs> Those movies were crap, but they had a sense of humor. Just run up and give him a healthy handful of barrel stuffing. Works every time. Sometimes. Okay, so not that way. Is there anything this way? No, don't shoot! I ain't- You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, 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 the laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. <laughs> give me in there. Okay, okay, okay. You gonna make me lead you there like a lost puppy? Hmm, I wonder if those junkies are dead. Alright, go on in. It's me! Open up! Let me in, quick! Not so fast. The password. John Wu. Come on. Okay, John Wu. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! It's... Did I just hit him with the grenade? Frag out! I literally smacked that dude with a grenade. Wow. You wise asses are literally printing money. God, no wonder inflation's such a bitch right now. Wow, I'm actually at 100% health. Let's see how long that lasts. Snacking on some grapes. Come on, man, I gotta go. Watch, this is gonna be a funny prank. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related oh gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, 
Wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight. I mean, with a He's name waging like that. a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, Virgilio? as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. And a guy who can't pull up his pants. Has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Rivera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Hey, you done in there? Yeah, I don't believe this. Oh yeah, this looks perfectly safe. How the hell could something like this ever go wrong? Yeah, about as well as I thought. And I... Could have just shot the window and hooked a grenade through. Oh well, how many of these do I got? Not enough. Is, dude, you didn't even have a. I mean, I guess it has a kitchen sink, but still. You have a sink in the bathroom, can't have shit in New York. Oh no, fuck! Uh, my enemies either have guns, gravity, or grenades. Okay, now that I know that he'll actually open the door if I don't mess with it, I'm gonna prank him. Uh. Ah, screw it. I was told this is where I could find THE Max Payne. The one and only with the face of Sam Link. Chris unknown. I don't want to go. The last place I yep. Oh, that was painful. Someone who looks the part down to the fight. Okay, well that was freaking painful. How you doing, Atlas? Hey, bullets. Oh boy, more balancing off of a pipe. <laughs> God, you know what's really fun? Platforming in early 2000s games. Am I gonna get my ass kicked? Probably. I didn't mean right away! Red, blue, or green? It's always red or blue in the movies. So, green? No, not the green. I didn't even need to kill you guys. You're just doing it for me. Enjoying the cold while it lasts. Yeah. Oh, that is Looney Tunes! I love it. Yeah. I don't know what cold you're talking about. Shit! Hey, I'm responding to my friends in chat. Give me a minute. Yeah. Cold would be nice, but... 
you're closer to a part of the state where it actually is colder, typically. Whereas me, I just get heat. Lots of heat. And more heat. Okay, Atlas, question for you while you're here. Have you ever known mobsters to be bullet resistant? Because some of these guys are. Oh boy, now I'm really dead. Oh good, they're very sparing, give me a sliver of health. And I don't think this is where I want to go. Like it meant something? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh god, you <laughs> shot me. Ah. You're dead, this is what babe. people sound like when they are bleeding what the from hell the are you guts. For, Kill him. Kill him. With pleasure, boss. Got me bailed. I made like Chow Young fat. And straight to the music. Oh, this is nasty. Okay, skipping. Oh, thank you, Asher. Get this man an Oscar. Yeah. Vinny's gonna get a little something more than an Oscar. See, it's that easy. Letter lay on Gagnini's desk. Hang on, I'm looting the place first. Oh, hey, shotguns. Alright, what's a crumpled letter say? The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Can we just take a minute to acknowledge that Vinny Gagnetti writes in a New York accent? Vinny Gagnetti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Oh, we will. Gagnetti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. He said the thing! It's easy for all the blood stain, the sound of desperation. Welcome to a fucking subway train. Gagnetti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, that's weird. Oh, that ain't normal. Geronimo! <laughs> oh! Smooth. Oh, that was smooth like oatmeal. Okay. Take two. Three. Whatever. Action! A crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's yeah, desk. Yeah, yeah, I know. Vinny Gagnetti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnetti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Oh, yeah. We're gonna chase this SOB right onto the subway car. And 
this time, I ain't gonna miss. I promise. Max, you can't get answers from a dead man. Like, I know he shot first, but still. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Let's see if I can actually make this work. <laughs> nope! Deride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. I'm just getting a running start? It's like Deride. it cuts off short. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Oh, this might have been too early. Deride. To okay, the lunging's a good idea. Uh, this is that bar fight all over again. Wait for it now. There we go. How many tries is that? Don't tell me. I don't want to crush my own ego. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and the dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnetti made his move. <laughs> Man, I can't help but wonder the guy... Like, someone's gonna have to clean that. I wonder what they're gonna think when they just go like... Who the hell bled on top of the train, of all things? I'm coming for you, Vinny. Next time, because it's damn near 9 o'clock and I'm going to call it. Nice shades. Did he miss the jump? Hang on, okay, no, no, I... I'm gonna call it in a few seconds, because I need to see if he actually just missed that jump. Okay, so he goes up to here. There he is! How the fuck do you miss a jump in a scripted cutscene? Okay, fuck it. Saving. That is gold. And that is loud. Okay, it's quieter out here. Okay, um, yeah, that's definitely where I'm calling it. Hey, Vinny, you warming up down there? Aw, oh, I want to have more. That should keep him nice and warm. <laughs>